Welcome to Great American Homesteads. Smash the like and enjoy the show. Well, it begins, everybody. February 27th, 2024. And we have started on our garden for this year. The grass was about two feet high, so we're cutting it multiple directions. Then we're gonna till this area. This is a 50 by 100 area that we're cutting and tilling. We're gonna be doing tons of freeze dried vegetables, tons of freeze dried candies and other things as well too. Big shout out to Harvest Right Freeze Dryer, everyone. They have sponsored us with a freeze dryer unit. We're also going to have a promo code for you in the description if you would like to take advantage of one of these freeze dryers, which I highly recommend you doing, especially if you've got a really big garden and know that you can't go through all of your products. It's a good way to preserve your food and keep it on the shelf for up to 30 years. We're going to be freeze drying the milk from the cows once they get big enough to start producing. We're going to be doing freeze dried candies which we're gonna be doing a lot of giveaways coming up soon on the channel with freeze-dried candies and other things with the party packs. We're also doing beef jerky, which has been very good. We just made six pounds of that the other day. But this is the start of the 2024 vegetable garden for the family. So I'll let y'all see what's going on once we can get some of the stuff tilled up. I know it's going to be tough at first, but... We'll get it done. We got the Troy Bill Bronco. This is a Super Bronco. I bought this unit in 2015. Did not want to crank yesterday, so I took the carburetor apart, cleaned it all out, had a bunch of black gunk all in there, and a lot of residue from the ethanol. So I got it cleaned out, and now it's like current like a kitten like it did when it was brand new. Almost 10 years ago. After we get it tilled the first time, keeping up with it won't be bad at all. We'll let y'all in on a little live action coming up here in just a few minutes. So you gotta let the tiller do the work. Kinda gotta go with the flow. I got Lawton on the tiller for his first time. 
Whatever you do, don't let your feet go under there. That's all you got to worry about. The ground is not frozen, so I'm pretty surprised, but it's tilling right up. Here's a new addition to the homestead, by the way. 18 chocolate Orpingtons. These are some great hens right here. We had some of these in South Carolina as well on our chicken poultry farm that we had. Really good egg producers, nice sized birds, and they're just really cool. All right, well, it's actually March 2nd right now, everybody. I did not get the tilling finished the other day when I was out here. We went and put gas in the gas tank went to crank the tiller and it would not crank so what happened is the carburetor got clogged again apparently i had some dirty gas or either some sediment that was already in the tank so now we're going to be using this special little filter right here this is a funnel with the filter that's built in just in case we did clean the gas tank out as well big shout out to tj small engine here in gladwin by the way but we added an inline filter. These don't come with inline filters, but now it does. So this will catch any sediment before it can get into the carburetor. I'm actually gonna extend the garden all the way over to those spruce trees, about six or seven rows, and that will be where we're planting our corn. Another beautiful day here in Michigan, by the way. 50 degrees right now as we speak, which is perfect for working outside if you ask me. Yeah, she's running good now, purring like a kitten again. We got a soil test kit in the mail that we got to send back. They're going to tell us exactly what we need to add to this land to make it fertile for this growing season. Got Lawton giving me a little break real quick. Lily and Maybell down here snacking on something around the edges of this barn. What you got there, Bell Bell? You got your ball? Oh, silly hound. Nellie and Maybell. Nellie and Maybell, what y'all doing, huh? You being shy? You a little bit shy? What y'all doing, huh? What you doing down there, Maybell? What you doing, Maybell? Oh. They're doing good. Frisky little things. Got my brother Mark on the tiller right now. Coming along really good too. Gonna be nice. Hello. What's up, Ma? Water. Thank you. Don't film too much room for Tommy. <laughs> One of the cows got out again. They found a little loose place and they got out and boy, is it a pain catching them things. Those cows are strong.
So this is coming together really nice, everybody. We're gonna finish up that over there that we haven't tilled yet today and then call it a day for right now and then wait a few days, get out here, we'll retill it again. But for the first pass, it's done really well. All right, so we ended up making it a little bit bigger than I originally thought. I extended the corn rows by about six rows and also made it about another six feet longer, five to six feet. Not much, but we should have plenty of room this year for what we're doing. They're enjoying their hay and being outside today in the sun. Come in the moose. Boo boo! Hello, girl. What can I do? What are you doing, huh? Hello. She's darker on her back and she loves back rubs. Hey Nelly! Hey Nelly! Come here, Nelly! It's a come this way! Come here, Alright everybody, we are wrapping it up for today. Whoo, that was not an easy job. But we've got it done. We're going to till it one more time once we get whatever the state tells us to put in the soil. We're going to go ahead and till it again. But it turned out really nice. I can't wait for this growing season to get here. Check that out. It's going to be so beautiful when all the plants are growing at their fullest. The neighbor actually has their garden right over that way too, so it's just going to be a sea of green through here. It's going to be really nice. But that's it, everybody. Got most of it tilled up. Halfway ready for the new garden for 2024. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like what we do, share us out. Tell your friends about us. We greatly appreciate that, everybody. There's a super applaud button there if you'd like to support our channel in any way. And we look forward to seeing y'all soon. Until the next one, God bless each and every one of y'all, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?